Um, what's up, everybody? Today is May 2nd, I think, yeah. May 2nd. Um, I have no idea how many weeks I'm on, but I know it's almost eight months because the 13th of this month will be eight months. And the 27th of this month will be my birthday. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going my hair out still. I have not cut it. Uh, it looks like really short right now because it curls up. So, yeah. And even when I pick it out, it doesn't fully uncurl because my hair is just that damn curly. Anyways, um, I don't know. I guess the changes are very, very steady now and just normal pace. I guess I don't know how to describe it. Whatever. Um, I don't know if my voice has gotten deeper because. It sounds the same to me. Uh, I haven't gotten any bigger. Although I am trying to work out now with uh, P90X. Although Tony just told me that that will only get me cut up and not help me gain weight or whatever. So I think I'll take his advice on what he just told me because I'm thinking he knows his stuff. Um. Sorry it's so dark. I have to like be like this close to the freaking camera for you to actually see my face. Um, you can't see it on this camera because obviously this one sucks ass. But, um, my mustache hasn't gotten any lighter. But I do have like a lot more hair on my face. You're not going to see it on this camera, obviously. But, I do, it's like, it's like a really dark patch right here though, it's like one little dark patch of hair right here, just in this area, looks really funny, um, but I can tell that I'm actually getting hair all down here, um, I don't think there's really anything else that has, as far as changes goes, um, I know when I move my, when I take pictures and I move my head a certain way, I look like mad fat under here. Like, all of this just looks like fatness. This looks like a fat boy. All up under here when I take a picture. Like, I have a picture on Facebook where I'm leaning this way and it's like, I just look fat. All up in here. Um... Oh, but, um, my chest did get smaller. Granted, I already had small chest already, but my chest did get smaller, and I can actually tell, because when I wear my binder, um, it actually looks a little flatter than it used to when I first started wearing one. So, yeah. Um, I have a sports compression bra on now, so... Because it's a lot more comfortable to walk around in the house in. And I got, I really didn't like walking around just a white beater sometimes. Um, yeah. But Shaq found my compression bra for me. Yay, she's awesome. Um, uh, speaking of awesome, we went bowling, drunk bowling. And I totally whooped her ass in like two games. Oh, and I was drinking, because the first game I lost, and that was before I started drinking, and then the second and third game I won. Oh, wait, was the second game? Did we play three games? No, I think we played four games. Yeah, it was, it, I won two games, and my ass was strong. You know what, I won those games. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, my head, my stomach is hairy as hell. Hold on. This is my hairy stomach. Hairy. Like, eight months. And that, that is, that's hair. All up and through here. Like, very hairy. Um, 
Yeah, I'm trying to get my Ken doll thing going on. Yeah, oh yeah. Granted, I mean, I've always, yeah, for the most part, I've always had that because I guess because I'm just I'm small as it is anyway. So, yeah. Um, you can't really see my hair. My hair texture, I feel like. Like when I first started tea, I felt like my hair got like, um, it seemed like it got thicker or something because when it was this short, it didn't seem as curly as it used to before I started. Now it's like back to its original, if not more, curliness. Like when I wet my hair, my hair just curls the hell up like it's very, very fucking curly. And that was, that was, it was curly like that before I started, and now it's back to being curly like that. Um, so I don't know if my freaking hair texture changed like twice <laughs> during like this whole time, but it would seem that way. Um, my arms haven't gotten no bigger. Oh, but I did, um, I did, uh, I did, uh, take my measurements because I was doing the P90X. Um, well, actually, I just started again. I've had it since last year, but I never really did nothing. And, uh, I got it before I started taking tea. And when I did my measurements then, like, my arms and my biceps were, uh, were 10 inches. And now, they are 11. Oh, yeah. I love it. Um, but anyway, uh, I've been tearing up a lot of these. I don't freaking know. I don't know if it's freaking allergies or what. But my eyes just, I feel like I'm always crying. I don't, I don't know. I'm sensitive. Oh well. But, um, anyways, uh, you just kind of see my mustache. Yeah, no, not so much. <laughs> um, you know, I always tell myself after I do these videos, I really need to write this shit down <laughs> about what the fuck I want to talk about, and then I always forget. So that doesn't really work out too well for me. Um, I'm going to work out today though. I need to get back in the gym. I I believe I need to get. I still need a job. Yeah, on that that note, I do need to get a job still, cause yeah. Mm. Um. Usually when I do this, I can think of something else. Am I gonna get there? Oh, 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 oh. No. Okie dokies. I believe that that might be possibly it. So, uh... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um... Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. Ah, damn it. I always remember something as soon as I get the fuck off this damn thing. Jesus Christ. Um. Er. I went to go see my sister and my grandmother. My mother's still not talking to me. Um, so I'm debating. Like, I'm thinking it would be rude. But I'm debating because my mother's birthday is the day, it's always the day before Mother's Day. Because my mother's birthday is May 7th. And then right after is Mother's Day. So I'm debating whether or not, whether or not I want to say happy birthday or happy Mother's Day to her. Or if I want to be my smart ass self and say something smart ass to her when I say happy Mother's Day. Because I went down to see my my uh, my my grandmother and my little sister, 
my little sister is so cute. She's 19 and she is just freaking so pretty. Like, it amazed me because she got in the backseat of my car and I was just like, who the hell is that? Like, is that really, she's growing up so fast. Curse my heart. I'm gonna have to get a shotgun and a bat and chains. But anyway, so yeah, so my sister, she just, she's so adorable. So I went to go see her because she's been wanting to see me and everything. She knows about my whole transition and everything. And she's cool with it. She, I mean, she still has a hard time, like, remembering to say he and my brother and all this. But, I mean, she doesn't do it on purpose. Um, but I went to go see her and my grandmother. Um, and she was... Uh, my little brother had called um had called her and like my mom erased my name and my number out of my little brother's phone my little brother's eight and my mother erased my name and number out my brother's phone so that he could no longer talk to me at all like she doesn't want him to talk to me at all so granted when he gets older he's gonna know that it was not my choice not to talk to him because he's still my little brother and I would not choose not to talk to him and he's gonna know the reason why we did not have contact but anyway um he called my sister's phone and uh she was talking to him and I told her to tell him I said hi and like as soon as she told him I guess my mom was near and she took the phone and hung, hung the phone up or whatever and text my sister talking about it this and it that and I don't want my son talking to it and it 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 so granted yeah it kind of hurt my feelings for all of about two seconds and then it pissed me off <laughs> so I'm really debating whether or not I want to say anything to her. I mean, because granted, every year, our birth, me and my mom's birthday is in the same month. Her birthday is May 7th, mine is May 27th. So, every year, like, probably since I was 18, she has not said happy birthday to me at all. And if she does, no, no, it's not if she does. If she says anything to me on my birthday or the day after, it's always something to make me feel like crap. So, really, I've never looked forward to my birthday in, like, years. Because it's just a disappointment every year. And it makes me feel like crap every year. And she makes me feel like crap every year. So, but since I met Shaq, like, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't still look, I don't look forward to it. But then it's not. It's not always such a, a really, really big disappointment like it used to be since I met Shaq because she actually tries to make, because she knows this and like she knows how my birthdays have been and she knows how my mother is and everything. She actually tries to make my birthday like very special and tries to like do something big for my birthday and try to make me feel special on my birthday so, so that I can keep my mind off of my mother and not feel like the biggest crap in the world. Um, so, but I always, even so, I've always said happy birthday to my mother every single year, even though I know that she does this to me every year. And I've always said happy Mother's Day. But, like, it's to that point, like, where, like, it's just like, why do I keep doing this and why do I keep trying if she's gonna keep being an asshole? Like, I don't get it. Why do... Why do I got to be the bigger person every single time when she is the parent? I don't get it. Anyway, that's my time. So, yeah, questions, hit me up. But, um, until next time.